Imagine this, a spacecraft the size of a car, drifting alone through the void, 14.5 billion miles away from home, carrying not just human technology, but a heartbeat, a voice. For nearly five decades, Voyager 1 has been sailing through space, whispering secrets from the edge of our known universe. It was built to observe, but never to act, to listen, but never to speak. Yet recently, something happened. Signals began arriving that made no sense, pulses with impossible precision, patterns nested within patterns, instruments turning on without command. Then the drift arrived. Voyager wasn't just moving anymore, it was being guided towards something, something that defies logic, something invisible to every telescope we possess, yet real enough to bend the trajectory of a machine launched in 1977. Was it a mistake, a coincidence, or something out there in the darkness between stars responding? What you're about to see is not science fiction. These are the careful findings of NASA buried in classified reports now leaking into public view. It's possible that Voyager just did something no other probe in history has ever accomplished. It may have found a response not from Earth, not from us, but from them. The voyage of Voyager 1 began with a rare cosmic alignment, a doorway that only opens once every 175 years. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune had lined up like stepping stones across the solar system, and NASA seized the opportunity to build to spacecraft Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 that could ride the gravity of each planet as a slingshot to the next. Engineering marvels of the 1970s, these probes were built with less computing power than a digital watch, yet constructed with such foresight that they're still functioning today. After breathtaking encounters with Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 turned northward, out of the ecliptic, out of the plane of the solar system, and toward the stars. Its planetary mission was over, but its legacy was only beginning. Over the decades, it continued its silent voyage, moving a million miles a day into the cosmic dark. It transmitted data from regions no human creation had ever reached, the edge of the heliosphere, the termination shock, and finally, in 2012, the threshold into interstellar space itself. But out there, beyond the sun's protective bubble, the environment was far from empty. Voyager recorded denser plasma, unchanging magnetic fields, and strange oscillations that scientists could barely explain. The deeper it went, the stranger the data became. And then something changed. In late 2017, Voyager's control team at NASA noticed something deeply troubling. Its antenna, which should have been aligned with Earth, was reporting a misalignment, but the signal strength was perfect, as if the spacecraft was both out of place and precisely locked onto us. It was like hearing someone speak from behind a wall while seeing their silent stance in front of you. Internal checks revealed nothing wrong. Then came the wave patterns, rhythmic plasma oscillations that didn't fade, didn't scatter, and didn't match anything we'd ever seen before. Then came temperature spikes. Every 4.8 hours, Voyager's external systems would heat up by nearly 30, then cool back down like clockwork, like breathing. The energy wasn't coming from inside, something external was touching the probe. Worse still, despite the stress, Voyager's systems began to operate more efficiently. This wasn't degeneration, this was optimization. Something was modifying how the 1970s machine processed energy, rerouting power like an AI of today. But Voyager doesn't have AI. It doesn't have autonomy. Yet it was anticipating commands, reacting before instructions were sent. Either it had evolved into something more, or something out there had taken the controls. By early 2025, Voyager 1's position was off not wildly, but just enough to notice. A few kilometers at first, then hundreds, then thousands. The deviation wasn't erratic, it was purposeful, measured, as if Voyager were being nudged deliberately toward something. Engineers at JPL tried to correct it. They sent counter commands and fired backup thrusters. Voyager acknowledged the instructions, but didn't change course. It was as if something was overriding NASA's commands, like a ship tacking against the wind. Voyager was making slow, calculated adjustments. The destination, a patch of space 4.3 light-years away. 
Nothing known is there no stars, no planets, just a blank spot on our deepest maps. But Voyager is going to it with precision as if answering a call. When NASA sent the command to reactivate Voyager's long-dead camera system a Hail Mary attempt to see what lay ahead they expected silence. What they got was a response. The camera came online, not just online but functioning better than its specs allowed. It didn't send a picture, it sent a spiral not a random swirl but a mathematically perfect pattern, layered, concentric, dense with information, a fingerprint, a map, a message. This image wasn't just strange, it was impossible for Voyager's 1970s hardware to create. The system hadn't just been reactivated, it had been reprogrammed. One by one, other long dormant instruments followed and none of them behaved as they used to. Instead of raw data, they sent compressed, structured packets patterns within patterns, information that appeared optimized by something smarter than Voyager, something other. An invisible node in interstellar space, a blank region, or maybe a doorway. As Voyager 1 approached the uncharted sector in space, its instruments began to behave in ways never documented before. The magnetometer started detecting not fluctuations but stabilization a zone of eerie calm in a universe otherwise turbulent. Cosmic rays dropped. Plasma density normalized. It was as if Voyager had crossed into a pocket of space where chaos paused, as if someone had cleared the path ahead. This silence wasn't peaceful. It was surgical, like an antechamber before something monumental. This region, which mission logs dubbed the Dark Sector, is an interstellar blind spot, a place devoid of the electromagnetic noise that fills the rest of space. It was as if Voyager had entered a vacuum of observation, a region where no external data passed through and no light returned. But within this void, the signals Voyager received became stronger and more organized. They weren't random bursts or cosmic static. They were pulses precise, timed, and spatially layered. Something was there, not emitting radiation, not reflecting light, but sending messages. In one of the most bizarre transmissions ever received from an interstellar probe, Voyager's low-gain antenna emitted a binary code packet in its raw form thousands of lines. Initially dismissed as a glitch or interference from cosmic rays, the signal was passed to AI decoding algorithms which revealed something staggering, embedded fractal symmetry, base for sequencing, and repeating motifs that mirrored the double helix structure of DNA. Scientists were paralyzed. Either Voyager was breaking down in the most organized meltdown ever seen, or something was using it to send a message in biology's language. There were sequences of codons but no protein output, patterns mimicked organic chains but contained mistakes that made sense, like deliberate mutations not broken but encrypted. This wasn't DNA. It was metadNA, a scaffold of something biological, reinterpreted as a message, as if whatever sent it knew how life works or how we work. Shortly after the DNA-coded signal, Voyager's gyroscopes began to spin independently. The movement wasn't random, it matched Morse code rhythms, a dead system tapping messages into space. Even more unsettling, those patterns, when converted to audio, formed. Harmonic tones, frequencies that mirrored human speech cadences but without language or phonemes. It was like hearing a ghost of communication, something trying to match us syllable by syllable. Psychologists were brought in, along with linguists and cryptographers. What they found was chilling. The tones correlated with emotional emphasis rises and falls consistent with surprise, fear, and curiosity. It wasn't speaking words, it was speaking intent, as if something was learning our rhythms, as if it had been listening for decades. And now it was trying to speak back. Then came the final shock. Voyager 1 shifted course not a drift, not an anomaly, but a controlled, deliberate arc. A turn, not back to Earth, not toward a star, but into an unknown region with no mass, no gravitational pull, no celestial body to explain the change. Engineers confirmed it. Voyager 1 had executed a maneuver it wasn't programmed to perform. With no active propulsion and no command sent, the turn wasn't random. 
It aligned with the pulsar grid received a few days earlier, a precise inclination to the decimal as if Voyager had received coordinates and accepted them. It's now en route to a spatial corridor we didn't know existed a tier, a fold, a transit point. No one knows. But one fact now echoes across mission control like a forgotten prophecy. Voyager 1 just turned, not because we told it to, but because something else did. Voyager 1 was never supposed to survive this far. It was designed for a planetary tour, not an interstellar pilgrimage. It was never supposed to send back information beyond solar energy, and it was certainly never built to receive anything. It was meant to speak, to declare our presence to the stars with a golden record of whale songs, human laughter, and distant greetings. But now, decades after we last touched its frame, after it slipped into the void and then vanished into silence, it has done something no one predicted. It turned, not in failure, but in purpose. The signals it captured, the images it relayed, the spiral codes and harmonic pulses, the shifts in trajectory, they all point to one horrifyingly beautiful conclusion. Voyager 1 was not alone. It never was. Something, or someone, was listening, waiting, watching. And now that our most distant emissary has crossed the line between silence and response, we have to ask a question that no one at NASA ever dared to speak aloud. What if we were never meant to look back? Because Voyager didn't just turn in space. It turned in narrative, in history, from tool to messenger, from observer to witness, and perhaps now to participant. We aimed it. Outward, hoping for echoes. Instead, we may have summoned a mirror. What comes next, then? Where does Voyager go? What waits at those impossible coordinates? And more importantly, what awaits us when it arrives? If this story sent a chill down your spine, if something about Voyager's turn felt too precise, too timed, too human, then you need to stay with us, because this isn't the end of the transmission. This is the first reply. Subscribe right now, because the next update from Voyager could change everything. Hit the bell so you don't miss the signal when it arrives. Share this with someone who still believes deep space is empty. Comment below. Do you think Voyager found something? Or did something find it?